Hi everyone, it's Bettina, and it's time for another computer video thing. I'm not sure what this will turn out to be, but first I just want to point out that I have cleaned up my desktop a little bit. You will see that I am now more of a gamer. I've got games. These are mostly from the Epic Games Launcher. A friend back a few months ago told me I should try Fortnite, but because I don't have a controller, it's really hard to play Fortnite with just a keyboard. So, but uh, Epic Games Launcher has shown me a lot of free games that go temporarily for free for like a couple days. So I played The Witness, I played Rhyme, I really love this game. I hoped to play it back uh, some time ago, but I recorded it and it, I didn't record the audio properly and it was a big mess. I played Fez, which was really complicated and I almost got to complete it, but like I said, okay, I'm done with that. Limbo was a lot of fun. I've been trying to play Abzu, but it won't start properly. If anyone can give me tips on how to fix that, then I would love that because I remember Jack Septic I played that, and that was a lot of fun. I also have Steam. I haven't gotten anything from Steam, but if anyone wants to uh, suggest games for me, then that would be great. I also have Undertale, Deltarune, Escape the Chasm, the big three there. And I've got the Soul of Joy, Elric uh, sent me a secret proto world where he tested out all his uh, little designs of the levels. The Soul of Joy, currently on the level 2, Snowden. And he sent me a secret thing called Realm of Joy, which I don't know what it's about. It's got a ver more detailed pink heart, and I think it has something to do with Soul of Joy. He asked me to make a reaction to it for a social experiment, so I'm really excited. This is like a couple days after my birthday, so it feels like a little surprise gift for me. So here we go. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's Joyce in another kind of, in another style where she's swinging her arms and it's got the song. Uh, okay, she, he said, use left, right, and enter. You found a shed key inside the microwave. Interesting place for a key. I can't interact with the spaghetti, so I guess I can't eat it. So here's the shed. The door is locked, but I have a key. Uh, should I do something? There's nothing more inside there. I guess I have to go into the shed. Huh? Okay. I thought that was a funny animation there. I need to make the audio a little bit lower. So, there seem to be barrels in here. Wait. I was going backwards. I was Michael Jackson for a moment. Oh! I found a house key inside this barrel. Second barrel I look inside. Uh, anything inside here? This is so cute! I love this style of animation. Okay, so I can't go past the fence. I found the house key inside the shed. I found the shed key inside the microwave. Oh, Um, it's dark. Sorry. I don't know what to do. Where did I go? I'm lost. Uh, I'm scared. The music stopped. Is it supposed to? Hello? I'm going- oh, surprise! SURPRISE! OH MY GOD! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Oh my god, why you gotta jump scare me like that? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! I recognize your voice. You've really helped me ever since you liked that one <gasps> Zoom picture. I've gone from basically no one to being Roman New. And thanks to you, Roman New came to be and she got a story. And then she the made a friendship with you. And then Shadow came to be and well, I can't spoil my own comic series, which I will get done sooner or later. I believe in you. But I'd like to thank you again. It really helps me, and it—it's really something I just can't explain. But 
you've really just inspired me to continue going and continue doing all I can do. I'm kind of going to be rambling a bit, so I think I'll let everyone else move on first. Oh, Who's this? I've always been a small time artist with little friends, but from the start I looked up to you because you spread so much happiness where I was. Piper, went. I think. You were yeah. always the type of person I wanted to be. When we started talking after I made you art, I felt like I was stumbling into unknown territory. But through everything, you've always been there. Your kindness unwavering. I'm honored to call you my friend, Bettina. I'm really happy to call you my friend too, Piper. So sweet. Over the past three years, That's I've come to recognize your talent and dedication when it came to That's making Eleanor. content. It wasn't over the top, which a lot of content creators tend to do, but there was energy and love for the things you enjoyed doing. And I felt the same energy when I was starting out with voice acting. Though I had a little official experience back in 2016, you gave me the opportunity to voice act in your videos when I asked if there were any roles I could help with. You've been incredibly kind, supportive, and open-minded. You try to stay positive and offers a laugh and smile in every possible moment. Because of you, I became more confident in my abilities and managed to expand my repertoire. I'm both honored and joyful to consider you a friend and creative partner alike. And I owe you my thanks for everything you have done. Stay determined and keep doing the things you love. You're an inspiration to many across the world, myself included. Happy birthday, Bettina. Eleanor Moonwood out. It's so cool. Like, these people, I've heard their voices before, but it's so nice to hear them say such nice things. When am I going to hear someone I haven't heard before? Oh, I guess not everyone lends their voice. Thanks, Bettina, for giving me the confidence to put myself out there, for introducing me to the Undertale fandom, for giving me a small bit of spotlight to get me started. Thank you for everything. Piper. Oh, you're welcome. And everyone has such cute sprites. No matter how bad things seem to get, how dreadful the world feels around me, you continue to remind me that there is still good to be found in it, and thus you inspire me to be a better person. Thank you for being my friend, Bettina. May your joy shine ever brighter. Elric Murphy. Is that what you look like? Do you have glasses? <laughs> really nice. Who's this? Ever since I started looking at your content before English class, you've brought me tons of joy. Thank you for helping me open up a bit and meet all these wonderful people. Nerdy Kara. <laughs> your hair is kind of clipping in the shoulders a little bit. <laughs> Aww. Cool look on you. Aww. Wonder who this is. Thank you for always being there and having time to support me through everything. Talking to you has always meant a lot, even though it might seem as a simple, courteous act. You've gotten me through times where I would have just fell and quit without your support. Thank you for everything you've done. Nine Nibbler. That's someone in my Discord. I can sort of a friend. Hmm. You always fail to leave me sad. You always make me smile whenever I'm sad. You inspired me to make me to make pixel art and introduce me to the Undertale fandom. Thank you, Bettina, and happy birthday. Murky. Murky's the one who made all that pixely fan art in my like a few videos ago when I wanted to celebrate all the fan art that I'd missed posting. <laughs> to be honest, everyone and especially you, Bettina, gave the motivation and support I needed to keep moving forward in the times when I'm down. You give us laughter and smiles in every possible way. You inspired me to get back into art and to joining the Undertale fandom once again. You are without a doubt an amazing person. Thank you for all the joy you gave us. Stay determined as always, and of course, happy birthday, Bettina. Bright boy. You I'm not as familiar with, but I think you you might have changed your names a few times in Discord, so that's why I don't really know you. Aw, Mila. You were quite a big inspiration to me when I was starting out, even before I made my Tumblr, aka my first social media. 
I really loved your videos and drew Joyce multiple times. After I started putting out my drawings on the internet, I was very happy when you were there for even the slightest bit of support. I'm very glad we're good friends. Fast Rainbow Das. <laughs> the eyes are funny. And your hair is very long. And that's it. <gasps> Happy birthday, Bettina! Oh, there is everybody! What do I have? Is that like a slice of birthday cake? <laughs> oh my god. This makes me so happy! I had no idea that people were planning all this. <gasps> oh, that's it! <laughs> oh, wow. Bravo, everybody. How long have you been working on this, Elric? Like, making all those, those sprites and characters, and you recorded your voices, everybody, and you sent in such nice words. <sighs> I'm sure you probably sang happy birthday to me, perhaps, but, like, that sounded a lot more than three or four people singing. Oh, I'm glad that I got to see this. Thank you guys so much, and I hope all of you in YouTube world watching this for the first time, you realize that I have the best fans in the world. <laughs> like, I know how Jacksepticeye or PewDiePie feels when their fans makes a game just to celebrate them. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. I have peaked as a YouTuber now. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna try and stay determined and keep putting out lots of game content and comic content and inspiring words and videos to keep you full of joy, just as you guys keep me full of joy. Not sure how to end this, but I'll see you guys until next time. Stay determined. Tina out.